So, we've got a new job to go to on Monday. And I have a lot of tools in the back that I don't need. And I need a few tools that I don't have. So, I'm just gonna pop. I don't wanna be running around on a Monday morning just before work. So, we're gonna pop there today. I wanna show you what I use in footings to make my life so much easier and get them built so much faster. Uh, a lot of people joke about, oh, you can whack a corner up, blah, 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 and stuff like that. It's only a footing. But with the footings, if you're organized and you get there a half hour, 40 minutes before the muck's out, so they're not allowed muck out there till eight o'clock. And eight o'clock's a late start for me. So I like to get there for minimum half seven and that lets the labourers get in front with the loading out while I'm putting some profiles up. And by the time I have all the profiles up, the muck still probably won't be over anyway. So it'll be a case of just running in, running in, running in. Also this week, I, I haven't got the two boys with me. I've only got Tom and Amy and they're both gonna lay for me. Uh, both labour for me and I just wanted to show you uh, how per labourer you have the amount how much more you can get done so if you've got one labourer it's only physically possible really as yourself to get a certain amount done but if you have one extra labourer there's so many other things that they can be doing for you to make your life a lot easier uh, and you can earn a lot more with more laborers if you know how to use them properly so if you want to see all this this week make sure you're following the channel because i'm going to be uploading daily of how much we get done um as a one and two not a two and one um i'll, I'll cut if you want to see what stuff i'm going to be using in the footings to put profiles up it literally takes five minutes per profile get the laser levels on, uh, get the laser level on, put my marks around, gauge it up, and we can smash around it. Uh, what we do is we'll go around one course everywhere, then we'll hook corner blocks on the outside um, to, to, in to, to set all the internal walls out, because it's just much faster that way, just to set uh, corner blocks around the outside. Um, and yeah, I'll just show you what we're gonna be using, and then, you can see who's build it tomorrow. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff in here we don't need for footings. Substructure, substructure. So, you get them putting me lock up and show you what I actually need. All right, everything's been put away. Um, I've just got everything I need. So just stands, boards, Staff boards to keep the bricks high. Uh, batten my profiles up the top. I've got top clamps, three-way timber clamps. Uh, they're really useful for stabilizing the top of the profile. Loads and loads of clamps. Standard. And then we've got the fits brick line block they're for blakes well they fit blakes anyway um and they just let the brick from going past the line if you have blakes then you'll know that uh, they're an absolute pain in the ass for pushing the first brick out so if you ain't got yourself a set of these make sure you go over to brickworktools.com and get yourself a set because they are top bit of kit and you'll see me using them tomorrow bucket tools and oh the other thing i would say as well if you don't have one is a guillotine or a block splitter i would not cut blocks without it anymore i mean i do every now and then but as soon as i cut one i think i'll oh, fuck that and go straight back to that uh we just set it up somewhere for cutting for the day and it just eats through them no waste um 340 cuts gives you 100 mil cuts off perfect every time Half cuts, perfect every time. So if you ain't got yourself one of these guillotines, highly recommend it. Right, we're all set for tomorrow. So if you want to come and see how I do it,
then follow the page and I'll see you then.